YouTube, it's your girl, Bookish Nerdy Girl, coming at you with another video. And of course, it is going to be another anime reaction video. This was requested to me by Speedrunner. It is the um, Inazuma 11 Go openings. I already did the uh, Inazuma 11 openings, so go check those out. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're new though, I do all different types of reactions. I do anime, I do comedy, I do horror, I do video game stuff. Uh, I also have a blog channel if you guys want to check that out. Yeah, blog channel, blog website if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, let me just pull up the video so we can get to the reaction and let's get it. Okay, so it seems like a soccer anime, but I know it's it's like more than just a sports anime. This was explained a little bit to me. Like, they have powers that they use. They activate when they're on the field. Okay, so let's see where it goes from here. It definitely gives me the vibes of like a 4Kids TV show, because I used to love watching Yu-Gi-Oh! and Digimon on 4Kids all the time. But it seems like it could be pretty in-depth, like, intricate and storyline-wise, so. Okay, so we're seeing all the characters and vendettas and whatnot. Okay, yep, see, there they go with the powers and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so he's like a dual personality kind of thing. Almost like a Yugi situation where he morphs into the Pharaoh when he's dueling. Okay. Damn, dude, just kick that ball right into the stratosphere. I mean, that's what, like, it's supposed to do. It's their powers, so. Okay, okay. They're impressed, which is cool. <laughs> it definitely gives me that, the, the like I said, the Yu-Gi-Oh vibes. It definitely gives you that four kids TV show kind of vibe. Okay, this is the second opening. Sounds like they have a lot of the, the same singers doing the openings, which is cool. <clears throat> okay. Oh, they have a dog. Okay. So it's, it seems very, like, it seems like it could be slice of lifey, but I, I don't know if it actually is or not. I mean, the main focus is soccer and, like, powers and stuff. So, I mean, I could be totally wrong. Look like they're freaking benders in this shit. It's like Avatar Last Airbender just snuck up into this. Okay, so now it's like getting intense because they fighting again. Oh, someone transformed. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Dude. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I love it because they all look older and the animation's a little bit cleaner. It's still, the animation still stayed the same, but it's a little bit cleaner from the looks of it. Okay, so this is the third opening. Now it looks like we're going into more of a card game with extended characters at this point. All right, so these are all the p people that support him, obviously. Okay, so they're two separate people. I thought the kid with the longer hair turned into the kid with the shorter hair and the markings on his face. Okay, so they're different They're different characters. That makes sense. Okay. So they're all training at this point because they want to be the best. That's the point. Everyone's working hard as they can. He's like ready to die and keel over. They're all ready to die and keel over because they're training super hard. Awesome. You need that kind of commitment. Oh. When they show reverse characters on the sides like this, it's because they have some sort of issue with those characters, even if they're related. So, gonna see where that goes from here. Oop. Oh, shit. They both have similar powers. Okay. Ooh, okay. Definitely a four kids TV show from the feels of it. Definitely something that was a TV show, like, maybe the 90s, early 2000s. It looks pretty epic, though. I mean, it's starting to get pretty serious at this point. Because you see their powers a lot more than compared to the first opening set of openings. 
So, and it's TV Tokyo who did it. All right, this is the last opening, opening four. A lot of the openings are very similar to the first set of openings that I reacted to. Whoop. He's like, oh shit, you're cute. My bad. Embarrassing. <laughs> oh god. Okay, again with more characters. I'm assuming it's from the rival team. Yep, it's from the rival team, the rival school. Like even more so. Oh, there we go. There's the power up I was I was remembering, I was looking for. Mm-hmm. Wow, they're dead tired. It's because I know they use powers as well as, like, playing the game. Okay, that's the coach. He's like, come at me. Everyone's freaking tired, man. It's a lot of training. Being sports, like, into sports, it's a lot of work, from what I understand. I'm obviously not into sports. Um. Okay. Mm-hmm. no so the, all the openings are super catchy too like I, I was only able to even understand what was being said with that because <laughs> the, the lyrics are right in front of me so that was the ending of that video of all those reactions similar to uh in Asuma, uh 11 openings the original ones that i reacted to um, but yeah, it definitely seems like it's gotten more serious. Everyone is training super, super hard, which means there's some major shit that's about to go down. That's one thing I know in anime. Usually when the overall feel of the show changes, it's because it's getting really, really serious. Um, but yeah, again, Speedrunner, thank you for recommending that I react to that. I know quite a few people were super happy that I reacted to, uh, Inazuma before. Again, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I'm not. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more of my, you know, really fun, cool content. Um, but this has been another Bookish Journey Girl video. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Peace out.